This video is going to be about the subtlety of the spirit realm and how um, if we're not paying attention we could pass up a message that was meant to help us in our quest to purify ourselves and be able to discern the, the voice of God. I was at a Japanese restaurant not too long ago and my eyes were directed to um, what a chef was doing because the the chefs cook in front of you and so a chef that was cooking for another party um, made was putting oil on the hot surface and my eyes were directed there and he actually made a smiley face with two devil horns on top okay why were why was I directed to watch him as he made a smiley face with two devil uh, horns on top and that is just an example of how subtle the spirit realm is and how easy it is for them to um, influence us in subtle ways um, in order to let them know that they do hold some sway in this environment and that we must you know um, train ourselves to hear the voice of God so that we're not deceived by dark entities um, God gives us gifts that we might not be able to appreciate because we're so used to them. Like he gives us the gift of conscientiousness, um, and it's an unappreciated gift. We feel like if knowing right from wrong is just normal, you know, but as children of God, we don't realize that they are actually children of the devil that don't know what consciousness is, that don't know right from wrong, that just know how to deceive. So it's actually a gift from God. Discernment is a gift from God. You see people spending their whole lives following, you know, false prophets and wolves, and you wonder how could they do that? You know, don't they, can't they, you know, see that this person is false and leading them into deception? No, they can't. But God has given us the gift of discernment, which is another overlooked um, gift. Uh, gift. So he's, he's the reason why we avoid certain people. He's the reason why we get out of debt in relationships and certain people can stay with you know serial killers and never know it you know because we've been given the gift of discernment so we know to run from wolves we know to run from the children of the devil um, not out of fear but in a sense because we know that they are not like us they're not familiar to us they're a different breed altogether so we avoid them um, he can give us uncomfortable bodily sensations when we're around certain people, you know, to where we feel that pit in our stomachs, you know, like some, something's not right when we're in the presence of certain people. He allows us to see the blank or glazy, you know, hazy look in people's eyes. And that is that could be when they're being influenced by demonic spirits where their free will um, is being it's becoming secondary to the will of the demonic entity that puts kind of a blank um, expression or a haze over their eyes while the demonic entity is talking through them. So these are all things that God, gifts that God gives us that we um, might not, we might be so used to using that um, we forget that they are gifts. Um, God can show us the past, present, and future attacks by Satan using human puppets. So he can give you a dream of um, someone attacking you in your past, him letting you know that, you know, this was an attempt by Satan to bring you down. He can also give us insight into the future of how, you know, just, just a heads up, you know, the devil's going to come at you this way, and I'm going to allow it so that you'll know and you'll be able to see it in the future ahead of time. So, you know, God has no limitations, and so if you have visions from God of, you know, threats then or, or um, just insight into the devil's scheming, you know, that's that's a gift from God. Um, so it's not it's not necessarily a matter of whether or not God speaks to us, but whether or not we have the faith and we have the practice in discerning his voice because he can warn us of, of every harm that could come to us in this world and prepare us for that but he's very subtle, you know, and the, the demons are as well. But in walking with God, if you're a child of God, you'll know over time you might stumble, you know, here and there um, when you're not in, in the presence, you know, 
right here, right now with with God within you. You might stumble, but as you as you grow in your walk with God, you can discern his voice and you know who's speaking to you. And you also know when Satan and the demons are speaking through other people because you'll be able to see it. And, and that's why the gift of consciousness and discernment is so important because without it, um, you can be led on the wrong path. But God doesn't allow his children to indefinitely be led astray. So just, you know, thank God daily for the gifts that we have become so used to using that we don't recognize as gifts.